Charge! Charge! All right, fellas, how you all doing? Thank you for tuning in, and I hope it's all going well because it's back to Monday tomorrow. It's Monday, the first day, first day of the week. The, the weekly suffering is upon us, fellas. But there's still a few days left on Sunday, so be sure to relax, do whatever. Don't don't stress out too much if you've got exams or anything during the week. Just relax, take it easy, and you guys will get there. But anyway, there's a Halo News video for you guys today. And I want to discuss, some of you guys might have already heard about it, but there's a new free-to-play Halo game coming out that isn't Halo 5. That's only available on PC. But, here's the but, it's only available in Russia. Now, why am I covering this? Well, this is actually quite interesting because seeing as it's in Russia, it's opening up a whole new gaming market for any developers and pretty much any company that has stuff to do with gaming. This is opening up a whole new part of the world pretty much. Because like, if you guys remember, I think it was a, a couple of years ago, it was actually like first legalized in China that you are actually allowed to play video games. I know like, it must have been illegal in China to have fun for all those years, right? But now that there's um, gaming in China, that's opened up a whole new market and that just means more money for developers and that means more games for us gamers. Because I bet you guys are thinking, wait, wait, it's in Russia, so how are we going to be able to play this? Well, seeing it's on PC, fellas, that means there's always going to be room for modding. And where there's modding, there's going to be people hacking into those servers and playing them all around the world. Kind of like Call of Duty Online, you know that free-to-play game in China, that's pretty much all Call of Duty's combined. People around the world are playing that, even though it's only in China. People around the world are playing that because they're getting in on the servers. And there's nothing illegal about it, it's just quite laggy. You have to have a pretty freaking good internet connection to be able to play that. And that is probably going to be the same thing with Halo Online, which is what the Russian one's called. And there is a trailer for this that I mentioned before, and it's just an updated Halo 3 pretty much. It's looked like all the maps are quite similar, the gameplay looks quite similar, but there is Sprint. And I'll be sure to put this trailer up on my Facebook page. But anyway, that's kind of all I wanted to cover. Oh, and I may as well mention that there's no actual date for this to be released at the time. It's just kind of speculation other than the trailer. And other than that, fellas, we don't really know much more. But I want to ask you guys, are you excited about this? Do you think it's quite interesting? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And then we can chat about it. So as always, fellas, stay safe, stay tuned. And I'll see you guys on the next one.